Well, this week, Supreme Courts in three different states will be hearing arguments weighing pro-life rights. The cases in Arizona, Wyoming, and New Mexico will determine abortion access. The host of Pro-Life Weekly, Prince Robertson, is here now to explain. Prince, great to see you. Uh, Arizona's state Supreme Court is set to review a historic abortion case. What more can you tell us about this? Yes, well, actually, there are two abortion uh, pro-life laws on the books in Arizona, and the Supreme Court will be considering which fragments of both of those laws they might allow to stand. Uh, currently, judges have determined in Arizona that these two pro-life laws apply to two different sets of people in the state. Um, the 15-week ban that limits abortions in Arizona applies to doctors, they say, and a near total ban on abortion applies to non-doctors in the state. And this is pretty confusing, but what it essentially translates to is that doctors can still perform abortions in Arizona up to 15 weeks when we know unborn babies feel pain in the womb. But on top of that, because of that near total ban applying to non-doctors, it's harder for women earlier in pregnancy to obtain dangerous abortion pills by mail if they don't want to have to go into an abortion clinic or see a doctor to have an abortion. So the Supreme Court will be uh, deciding which fragments of those laws they might uphold, as I said before. And two pro-life Arizonans, a doctor and an attorney, are standing in defense of the pro-life laws there. Prudence, I want to talk about Wyoming now. A suit there involves two Republican lawmakers and a pro-life organization. Uh, tell us what's happening there. Yes, well, those two pro-life state lawmakers are actually um, asking the court to provide them standing in the case to, to defend these pro-life laws. Uh, both of them are common sense laws. One of them bans uh, all abortions, except in the cases of rape and incest, if the, if the life of the mother is at risk or if the child might be born with a disability. And the second law would, again, restrict dangerous chemical abortions from being sent through the mail. So in order for those laws to be given a chance to stand in Wyoming, they're currently being blocked by lawsuits put forward by pro-abortion activists. In order for those laws to be given a chance, someone has to be given the opportunity to defend them. That's what those pro-life state legislators are fighting for at the court this week. Prince, before we wrap up, uh, the state of New Mexico allows abortions, but some local ordinances have instituted their own de facto laws. What can you tell us about that? Yes, that's right. So there is a federal law known as the Comstock Act that bans all uh, mail order items that might facilitate an abortion. And pro-life locals in New Mexico have issued local level ordinances to to restrict chemical abortion pills from being sent through the mail, despite the fact that New Mexico does allow abortions through all nine months. So the state Supreme Court is debating whether or not those local ordinances stand up against that state law um, by citing this, this federal Comstock Act. And I should also note that the pro-abortion attorney general in New Mexico, as an aside, is trying to work around and find a loophole to include a so-called right to abortion in New Mexico state constitution. Uh, so we're continuing to track that as the court debates uh, these local ordinances. All right, Prince, thank you so much for weighing in. We appreciate it. Thanks, Tracy.